Right, let's close those doors. No, that's not what I meant to do. Did that close the doors? Oh, okay, pressing that again closes the doors. Fine. And that must lock them. Okay, so now... I know what the speed limit is. It's 75. Now let's just blast out of here. Actually, that, that, that horn is just something else. I'm glad Bombardier don't use that over here. Actually, they might on the tube. We used to have little whistles on, on the tube. Right, so 75 miles an hour is what we're looking for here. I can't really... Oh yeah, what I can do is I can probably press this when we get to the point. I think. So if I press that... 1.9 miles to the next stop. Just continue accelerating. 69, 70 miles an hour. If I do that and then go like that... That should bring us up to 75. I think. Yeah, there we go. 75. Fantastic. Right. Green light ahead for us. That's fine. So we can just continue along our own, our own merry way. Yeah, that's alright. That's better. There you go. Very quiet again. I don't know what it is with Train Sim, with train sim World and very, very quiet sounds. I don't know what that means. For um two, maybe that's talent two. Maybe that's what that means. No smoking in the cab. Very well. Blinds work. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. That works. Uh oh. Oh no. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Hello. I didn't see a speed change. I didn't see a speed change because I was too busy with the with the blinds. Slow down to 60 now. Alright, so now we're down to 60. Now we've got a 50 coming up, but... I've just realised we've got a station right here. Let's hit that brake as well, see what happens. See how quickly this train can slow down. Oh, very quickly. Very, very quickly. I mean, we're, we're definitely overshot again. Definitely overshot it again. It's going to say objective complete, but that's not really true. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, put that in neutral, bring that into reverse, and back us back ourselves up. How do I? No, how do I do that? Why will it never do this for me? Something tells me that this is not how it's supposed to be. There we go. Should I back us up? That's going to back us up a bit. We, we didn't overshoot it entirely. It wasn't too bad. I mean, yeah. There we go. We'll do that. Okay. Let's open the doors again. Uh, stick the reverser back into forward there. Okay, this is, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a lot of bugs on this map. Okay, what does that mean now? Flashing green signal. No, no one's ever told me what a flashing green signal means. What does that mean? Someone tell me, what does that, what does a flashing green signal mean? And we'll do that. Make sure we can go forward. No. Oh, yes, we can. There we go. Fine. Brilliant. Okay, so flashing green signal, I have no idea. Maybe that's uh, telling us that we're, we're merging onto a line again. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I really don't have a clue. Um... Obviously, we were supposed to be at this place. We're like five minutes late now. If not more. Almost ten minutes late. Trying to work out what on earth we were doing. And where we were supposed to be going. So I'm actually going to slow this down right to 50 miles an hour. There's no point accelerating past 50. Right, what does that say? 5.8. 
And that's not the that's not the speed limit. I really have no idea. I wish there would have, I wish there was a tutorial telling us what these signals are. What does this flashing green mean? What does it mean? Speed limit change? Is that what it means? I know I'm doing 50 because I know there's a 50 limit coming up because of that, but where is the speed limit? No, apparently okay. Uh next up is 37. So I'm actually going to slow that right down so it's uh down to 50 kilometers or something. 39, 38, 37. There we go. It's down to 60 kilometers an hour. Okay, now we're going into a tunnel. Right. And now the speed limit's gone up again. Again, I didn't see any sign that the speed limit is going up. I like the DLC. I like the fact that we've got more, but... Oh, I'm going to have to be on the brakes here. Yep, definitely downhill. Step three on the brakes seems to be okay for us here. Uh, let's drop to step one again a bit. Step two, step one. Right, we seem to have flattened out here. So this must be the city tunnel it's talking about. And the station is in... Ooh, fancy. Let's get this right slowed down. I'm assuming we need to go right to the end of the platform here. So it's an underground station. Right now we're in the London Underground. Or, well, Germany's underground. Somewhere. Somewhere on the underground. Uh, escalators don't seem to be working. And let's do that. Look at that. That's actually... That is... Oh. Oh, I, ca I can't get in. Oh, well, that's rubbish. How do I get in? Maybe if I just do this. That's not bad. That's, you know, that's quite good. That that bodes well for something like to have the London Underground or something done. Because that, at least they, they've got this underground. It's a bit foggy underground. I wouldn't expect it to be foggy underground, but there we go. Alright, let's continue along our way. I suppose this is our last stop, potentially. It's very, it's very close to this stop, so this is more like the London Underground now, in terms of, yeah, look, we're in a tunnel, we're in an underground tunnel, that's how it should be. I'm not sure about the fog underneath, but... You know, so the idea is hard acceleration, hard brakes. That's the idea. But I can't see anything. I suppose I could have. Ah, there we go. There's the next stop. Yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much hard acceleration, hard brake, which is absolutely fine. I like that kind of stuff, but again, I, I was so confused. I don't know what that flashing... I still don't know what that flashing green light was. This is nice, though. This is very nice down here. This is very, very nice. So we'll stop at the end of the platform roughly, which I'm starting to get used to this train. There we go. And we'll open up the doors. Alright, so we'll load the passengers here. I mean, it's been a bit of a long episode, but that's okay. I didn't know what I was doing for most of the episode. I, I don't know what the signals were. I wasn't sure why the pantographs weren't working. Speed limits, I had no idea. I suppose I lost a lot of time doing 40 miles an hour, confused about the speed limits. I'm assuming that's where I've lost 9 minutes, mostly. Because I'm assuming then it was 74. Five miles an hour, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. Good, good graphics over here. Look at that. That's fairly well done. 
There we go. Alright, we'll continue along our way. That's cutting through that. Um, okay, this is our next stop. So we'll just blast out of here. Weird, weird noise. There we go. So now we're blasting through another tunnel. This time I think we're going to accelerate right the way up to uh, 35 and 40 miles an hour. And then going to get on the brakes again. And now on the brakes. As you would expect. Yeah, this is kind of alright. Perhaps I could be on the brakes as I enter, like the tube lines do. Just before we enter the platform out of the tunnel, we end up on the brakes. That's how, that's how the London Underground works. A lot of drivers like doing that. And, you know, you brake hard, you accelerate hard. There's no... There we go. We'll open that. I should have those doors opening. There we go. Where's the back of the train? I want to see the back of the train. Yeah, yeah, we're, all, we're, we're in. We're in this place. Very, very high ceilings. As you would expect, so we're, I'm, I'm assuming we're pretty, pretty far underground. I think. Let me ease up the brakes a little bit. So I am about ten minutes behind schedule. Lock the doors. But we're getting there. We're, we're getting. Yeah, but we're getting used to things now. So let's blast out of here now. Or not. Hello. There we go. There, what? I don't know what why it does that. It's as if there's some sort of circuit breaker that doesn't allow me to open up the doors. I don't know. I don't know. But okay, I think I'm starting to get used to this train. I'm definitely starting to get used to this train. Let's try a little bit more on the brakes here. So 40 miles an hour. And we'll get on the brakes now. So we enter the platform somewhat faster than last time. But okay, it's got very fast acceleration. I'll give it that. I'll certainly give it that. Very, very fast acceleration. Down to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We'll stop it right there. All right, we'll open the doors here. So now I like this. This is different. This rapid transit. This section is quite different. And I assume that should be the end of our run. Maybe straight through this tunnel to one more station. I don't know. wait here. Do you have another passenger? Do we have any other views? Not really. Alright, we'll close that. There we go. Done. Mm, okay, we'll continue along our way. Okay, this time it worked. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I do like the idea of being in tunnels like this. It's nice. And it's, it just shows, it goes to show. You know what, I want, I want modding to be open here. I really want modding to be open here. And now we're coming out of the tunnels. Because if there was modding open, I think someone would do the entire London Underground. And that is going to be absolutely fantastic. Alright. 600, 500, I think about 400 yards we can break. 400. And we'll get off the accelerator here. And we'll get on the brakes now. In step 4 of braking. No, actually, step 3 of braking. Now we'll go to step 4, step 5. 
back down to step four. Yeah, I think we're, we're going to make this platform actually pretty nicely. There we go, done. Objective complete. Do I open the doors? I assume I open the doors. We're still continuing on. I, I don't know how far we have to still go. I really don't. But, uh, you know, 40 minute video. There you go. How far along the line have we gone? Oh, wow. I think we have still have a long ways to go. Don't we? I think we might have a long ways to go. So I might split this up into more than... Oh, we'll find out. We're going to find out. Unless, I'm, unless I've read that wrong. Does it tell me anywhere? Hang on. Um, running an all station service to the southern terminus at Markleyburg Grasswitz. Oh, wait. I'm heading down. Okay. Okay, yeah. Definitely going to be in multiple parts. So you're probably watching this in a separate part now. Yeah, yeah, you're probably definitely watching this in a separate part. So somewhere along this, I cut it at some point, and uh, we're going to see what happens. But I'm I'm starting to get a handle on this, and the speed limits have come back, so I'm understanding the train, I'm understanding how it works. So this is a good sign, right? The speed limit has gone up again. I don't know where the speed limit markers are. That I don't have a clue about. Now keep going, keep going. Why is suddenly power gone? Oi, why have you lost power? There we go. Did we go through a... Oh, do they have dead sections in here? If, if they do, it'd be nice to know where the dead sections are. It'd be nice to have a tutorial telling us where the dead sections are. That would be really nice as well. Alright, just continuing along here. I think at about 600 yards we should probably slow down. I'll tell you what, I'll start, slow, start slowing down here in step 4. Step 5. Step 6, fine. Step 6. Step 7, why not? Step 6 should probably do the trick though. There we go. Actually, we're coming to the platform quite nicely. I should have let it. I should have left it in step six the whole time through. Or not? Actually, maybe. No, no. Mm, I don't know. Still getting used to the train, but we're we're definitely getting there. There we go. So we'll open the doors there. Right. Okay. Now I'm starting to get used to things. I still don't know what the flashing green light was. Which may have now been in the previous episode. But I, I still don't know what that was. I don't know what it meant. I don't know what it did. I, I don't know. Passengers do get loaded on board very quickly in this. Alright, we'll prepare to lock the doors. There we go, and we'll get ready to continue. So maybe I have to wait for a couple of seconds after the doors are locked before I can go. So now. Yep, now I get power. It takes a while for it to, I mean, I don't know why it's taking a little bit of time for it to get through, but that's fine. That's okay, I can, I can deal with that. We can go full power. Blast away here. That's 100% power. Let's do this. I think maybe the next run I do, the next uh, time I take this train out, uh, it should be a lot better, I think, because now I know what the train's capable of. I understand that what the speed limit should be. It looks like 75 miles per hour is the speed limit of choice. So that's what I am going to aim for if the speed limits break, not 40 as I was doing before. I 
hold step 5 breaking from now. Let's see what happens. If I hold step 5 breaking from now, what happens as I come into the station? That doesn't seem to be all too bad. And then we can reduce to step four. And that seems to be slowing the train down a fair amount. Nope, step four, I said. Actually, I quite like that. Then we can reduce to step three very gently, even down to step one if it is. We'll completely kill that for a second. If I let the train coast to a halt, why not? The train will just coast itself down to a halt. Okay, we'll open that. Alright, we're getting there. Let's have a look where the back of the train is. Uh, no, that's the front of the train, isn't it? That's the back of the train. Yeah, we're, we're clearly on the platform very easily. We could probably fit another carriage if we combine both the front and the space at the front and the back. We get another carriage on. And as a matter of fact, I think I got that pretty well done so where are we now a couple more stations to go maybe two or three so we can close these doors now hmm interesting very interesting there we go also I don't think it's gonna I don't think a 30 minute serve ooh what on earth that was weird is that going to do it again? No. I don't think this is a 30 minute service, also. I'm just, just going to point that out. Um, because, yeah, I just don't think it was a 30 minute service here. So we're going to accelerate, 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 accelerate. And then step four brakes. I think should get us into the next station very nicely. Actually, that's a little bit early. Hmm. Okay, well, still getting used to it. Still new, still new to us. Just going to ease in up. There we go. Now we can slow this train down. That's a much shorter station, though. So does the back of the train fit on this station? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It does. This is a little bit interesting. It just looks like a shorter station, then. It's not really... They're not really that short. Hmm. Interesting. Right, so how many stops do we have to left to go? It is one and two, I think. Should be fine. Should be absolutely fine. Um, yeah. So think thoughts I'm getting from this, or what I'm thinking about this this DLC. I'm thinking it needs some. In it's got a few bugs, I think. Right, so that's my brakes being released. And then it allows us to move. Okay, fine. Uh, it's got a few bugs, I, I would say, with the speed limits and stuff. I need to see a tutorial. What does that mean? Look, it's a flashing green light again. What does that mean? Does that mean a speed limit change? Now I'm assuming it means a speed limit change coming up. That's all I know. I, I don't know what else it, it could possibly mean. The next signal is amber as well. But also, I don't know where the speed limit changes. I haven't seen any boards warning me. Do they not? Do they not have boards in Germany, telling us of a speed limit change? What does six six mean? I don't know. I I really don't know what any of this means. There needs to be a tutorial teaching us what these things mean. Because without it, it's just a bit rubbish. Right, I believe this is my stop coming up now. 
There goes another flashing green signal. What does that mean? And why is it saying my next signal is the amber when that's flashing green? Now, so, um, I don't know. I don't even know. I do not even know. Certainly pulling into the station at a, a decent speed. Let's see what happens here. So if I just leave it in step five for now, I should stop in the right place, I'm guessing. 30 yards, 20 yards, 15 yards. Okay. So I need to be slightly further up than that. Uh-huh. The back of the train is on the platform, though. So, um, I'm so confused. I am so confused. I don't know what's going on. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying what, what I'm doing, whatever it is at the moment. Right, so we're going to lock that now. And then we can... So if we start releasing the brakes, that should start releasing the brakes, right? And this is now our last stop coming up. Here we go. All right, this is our last stop. Weird noises. Weird, weird noises, right. So, even though that's our last stop coming up, it looks like we've got an amber signal. So with the amber signal, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Where is this amber signal? Ah, oh, there you go, I can see it now. Fine. And we've got a 50 mile an hour limit that I can't see. There's got to be something that tells us what the speed limit is. What's that? 4-3, I don't know what that means. Come on, somewhere, something tell us a 50 mile an hour limit. 8-8, eight, eight, no. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It went 15 miles an hour. 19 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour. What are you... What? I think I just hit the emergency brakes there. I think I did just go into full emergency. So now what? Brake bar pressure's going down now. But I can't get it into... There we go. That was that was stupid, that was. Where did the 19 mile an hour limit come from? And why was there no warning of this? So it went straight from 50 miles an hour. Um, where I would still be doing about 50 miles an hour. On the brakes. It went from 50 miles an hour. And then it went to this speed. 19 miles an hour within the space of 200 yards. No, you know what? This it's a it's a good DLC. I like the idea of having new maps, new tracks, all that kind of stuff. It needs work. It needs polishing. You've got to polish the DLC before you release it. Otherwise, it's just it's going to be a problem. Okay, so I did it did say that I had a 31 mile an hour limit coming up. Where's that gone? I seem to have lost that 31 mile an hour limit. All right, so I'm just going to pull into the end of the platform here. You've got to test the product. Come on, Dovetail. You've, you've got to test the product before you release it. I can understand a small bug here and there. But it's on the scenarios, especially if you're going to do the scenarios, then you should be looking at those scenarios and going, Oh, hang on. I've run the scenario, and the scenario is um bust. There's some weird speed limits going on. Things aren't running properly that you've got to check if it was happening on a normal service and you you plowed through a station and the speed limit suddenly dropped and then suddenly went up i can understand that because you're not going to check every single platform there may have been a bug but if you're doing a scenario then 
you need to run through that scenario and go, okay, this is a scenario, where are the problems, right? There's no speed limit there, nobody knows the speed limit here, uh, there's no warning for a speed limit here, there's none of this, there's none of that, there's none of the other. Is this the end of it? Uh, yes, climb down from the train to... All right, yes, I want to get off this train. Get off. There. Run. Run away. Run away. But thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Train Sim World. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Letting me know what you think. Um, if you've picked up this DLC, am I the only one running into these issues? Maybe it just is me. Um, yeah, maybe it just is me. I don't know. And if it is just me, then I do apologize. Uh, and do, do support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. There, I ran. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. I'd massively, massively appreciate your support. And I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. I'll see you guys next time.